When I just woke up in the morning, YouTube pushed me some English videos about China, and the video of first post was displayed in the prime position. I thought it was my goddess Pocky Sharma again, but I clicked in and found that it was not. The text on the cover picture is confusing. She's new toys. It seems that Xi Jinping is holding a tablet and refreshing it to check China's recent weapons development progress all day long. Then he announced like Modi, China number one. However, the fact is that China's national leaders occasionally inspect weapons development units and the army when major breakthroughs are made. Most of the time, they have no energy to pay attention to these trivial matters. If she uses these as self-comforting medicine, his body may not be able to withstand such a large amount, because China has a large number of new breakthroughs every day. After intensively displaying the sixth-generation aircraft and stealth bombers, China released a video of the successful test flight of the hydrogen-oxygen detonation engine. Even when the video is slowed down, it still gives people an extremely fast feeling. Many people are worried about whether the pilot's body can withstand it, but they ignore that controlling acceleration can effectively avoid high-speed damage to the pilot's body, and drones will also become the main fighters in the future. China is already developing power systems for the seventh-generation fighters. Anyone familiar with Chinese military technology knows that Chinese weapons are equipped with one generation, developed one generation, and pre-researched one generation. When the J-20 is equipped with hundreds of aircraft, it must mean that the sixth-generation fighter has been basically completed, and the seventh-generation fighter has also entered the pre-research stage. Although the new engine looks cool, it is a product that is obtained by replacing new materials and fuels and updating design ideas on the basis of domestic engines such as the WS series. It is not produced out of thin air. The system of scientific and technological personnel who develop it is also inherited from the same source. Indians may not be in a good mood in recent days. They have always thought that they are a superpower comparable to China, but facing two generations of technological backwardness, even first post, which likes to brag the most, seems to feel powerless. In fact, when China just started reform and opening up, the military leaders visited the U.S. weapon system, and their hearts were also very tormented. Some high-ranking scientists even despaired of the huge technological gap between China and the United States and believed that China should give up independent research and development, take the route of purchase, and save money to improve people's livelihood. However, most scientists refused to give up the plan to catch up with the world's advanced technology. In the hearts of the Chinese, what they make is the most reliable, and relying on any country is a huge strategic risk. China imported a batch of Black Hawk helicopters from the United States in the 1980s. They have been the core Trump equipment of the army and have appeared in many major scenes. After disassembling the Black Hawk, Chinese military experts concluded that even if the Americans gave China the blueprints and sent someone to guide it, China would not be able to build such a good helicopter. Because China's industrial level lags far behind the United States, let alone the engine, even the simple screws, the rigidity and toughness of Chinese products are not up to standard. China's top priority is not to copy American aircraft, but to make good screws. Now I show a short video of the J-20 flying. This is captured by Chinese military enthusiasts. Indians can imagine why India cannot build advanced fighters. Let's not talk about the aircraft engine, flight control system, radar, stealth coating, which are core components with extremely high industrial requirements. Let's talk about the wings of the aircraft. Those very thin metal sheets are responsible for coordinating the control of flight attitude and reducing air resistance. Under the standard of supersonic cruise, it must maintain long-term stability. If there is a problem with even one screw, it may threaten flight safety. I can even be more arrogant. Can India paint the aircraft so beautifully? I once mocked Hindustan aeronautics as a pilot killer and a widow maker, which made many Indian netizens very upset. But let's be fair, China gave you the drawings of the J-20, can Hindustan aeronautics make it? Not to mention the core components, can India make the outer shell of this aircraft so smooth? 
China only manufactured a new type of helicopter around 2010, but the feedback from the Army was that it was still not as good as the Black Hawk under extreme conditions. It was until around 2020 that China's various weapon systems made major breakthroughs one after another. This breakthrough was based on the planning from the 1980s, which consumed the youth of two generations of engineers and a large amount of capital investment. This requires not only the efforts of the government, but also the active participation of China's civilian enterprises. Only with a high degree of coordination across the country can major technical difficulties be overcome. For example, companies such as DJI and SF Express provide the defense industry with highly cost-effective drones or parts, and companies such as Unitri provide excellent performance robot dogs and humanoid robots. Huawei, ZTE, and other companies provide excellent communication components. The products of these companies are highly competitive in the civilian market, allowing them to have enough profits to advance their research and development progress and lead the world's technological trends. Military enterprises only need to use their imagination to create various imaginative weapons based on China's industrial chain. China's military expenditure is about 250 billion US dollars. Although it is huge compared to other countries, it is less than one third of that of the United States. However, the price of Chinese weapons is only one tenth or even lower than that of the United States at the same level. For example, drones and robot dogs. Compared with Boston Dynamics' backward performance, robot dogs that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, the Chinese military can purchase a better performance alternative for 100,000 yuan. This certainly involves the corruption of U.S. military procurement, but it is more because China has strong industrial strength and the world's only full industrial chain. When Americans showed robot dogs as cutting-edge weapons, Chinese small vendors had already used them to carry snacks and drinks in scenic spots. As I mentioned many times in my videos before, I never said that Indians should not develop advanced weapons such as aircraft carriers, fighter jets, tanks, etc. My suggestion is that you should first make the most basic screws and springs, then make reliable rifles and other light weapons, and then gradually upgrade. Otherwise, building a castle on the beach, the higher it is, the more tragic it will collapse. However, my well-intentioned suggestions are considered racial discrimination by Indians. I really don't know what's in their heads. Wake up, it's time to go to the construction site to move bricks. Today is a bad day, but don't be sad, because tomorrow will be worse.